but only then did it begin to dawn on him that he was invading at a church that housed an invasion covenant. A covenant of invaders at a church, and he was a saint, like at a church. A church of invaders. Me, the person I am, Saint Riot, with Elder Scrolls music. So, right at the end here of the level, you've got this huge pile of muck. This thing is fucking awesome. Uh, there's a giant here, there's a few little muck monsters, uh, little Aldrich slime guys. Uh, the giant, man, I tell you what, I got killed by giants on three occasions while invading here. You know, obviously, they're like an environmental hazard, so be careful around these dudes. Uh, they are Lenny from Of Mice and Men, and they will just squeeze that poor fucking rabbit's head off. Or whatever the Looney Tunes taught me Of Mice and Men is about. I'll be honest, I've never read a book. I never learned to read! So the party has to come across this huge trek of um, just absolute gross giant shit and human waste. Uh, and so I'm just harassing them with the world's greatest longbow, the Dark Moon longbow. Run out and get you one. This thing's OP. This thing's the new meta. I'm serious, you guys. So as they come across the, uh, the layers of shit there, You've got all this time to harass them. The giant's there. He can make it worse. That maggot can block the way and split them up. Then you've got this narrow walkway right here with some twisty corners and what have you. Uh, again, allowing you to split a party up. Now when that happens and you get one separated, always be jumping on the other one. Don't necessarily go after the one who's low on health. That might not do any good. But the Estus Charm there will basically ensure that that phantom can't get too engaged and uh, Forrest Gump here, it's time to fucking run, dude. That guy is your best friend. Now, there's two Cathedral Knights, but one's kind of far off. And if they stay right in this area right here, they'll never aggro the guy. Uh, the Deacons, they'll back you up with a little bit of fireballs. Uh, but this Cathedral Knight right here is more than enough uh, for two players. They're completely split up. This guy's still got the undead hunter charm. The host is all by himself. He's probably dead by this point. Boom. What'd I tell you? God, I'm good at commentating on a video that actually happened the day previous. And I've already, you know, like, watched it once. I'm so good. I'm so good. So, like Francis Ford Coppola, we're going to go ahead and uh, skip to the beginning of the movie now, after we've seen the end. I let this host kind of... Um, get a head start on me, which typically I advise against that. Don't let a host get in front of you. It's very hard to play from behind as an invader, but I wanted to show off the beginning of the level, so I let him kind of get a head start on us. We're using my Moonlight Greatsword build, if anybody's not familiar with it. Uh, get enough stats to use the Moonlight Greatsword, and then everything else goes into intelligence. The end. Moonlight Greatsword build. It's fucking awesome. Um, so, this narrow walkway is cornered off by rocks, uh, parties can get separated. Um, the the undead guys can just block a path and separate a party. Uh, some of the some of the undead guys there, their little maggot vomit that they throw up, uh, it can proc bleed on hosts. Some of them have um, maggot men in their bellies, and those maggot men, if they hit you, that also procs bleed, and that doesn't just go away. Uh, you have to have a torch or you have to eat a red uh, moss clump to get that that bleed effect to leave. The host kind of fell off the ledge here, which would be great. Uh, this blue that's coming, and here comes another one, they're not going to know, you know, necessarily which path we went down because the, the enemies constantly respawn, which is, uh, that's great for an invader. These are shitty enemies. Um, they're not great enemies, but there's a lot of them, and you can use that to your advantage. It's a lot like the Undead Settlement where we talked about the Corvian Knights. They're badasses, but they can hurt you. Same thing with these, this Grave Warden who hangs out up here. He can, he can fuck you up even if there's not a seed active. Um, but the rest of the enemies, the little Corvian shitbirds that walk around, are basically the equivalent of these guys here, these little undead, that just kind of basically block the path. Now, since the host is in such a hurry, I'm going to let them get a head start on me here. And I'm just going to turn around and deal with this blue uh, solo while I can, because that's the smart play. Uh, and, and basically, at this point, I think the host, watch this, ooh, beautiful roll back step. I think the host is probably going to get in the uh, shortcut. I'm not sure if he did or not, but that would be my guess. But he didn't come help the blue, so we get back up to uh, five Estus. Grave Warden's still alive. We're giving him plenty of space. And I'm not 
too concerned about whether or not he wants in on this fight or not. If he doesn't want in on, that's that's fine with me. <laughs> I don't want to get hit by those blades or his fire breath or whatever anyway. Um, but while I'm up here fighting the host, uh, you guys can, can visually appreciate uh, the parry spam. Uh, and there's a little bit on both sides. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, um, you guys can, can visually enjoy that, and you can listen to the soothing sound of my voice as I tell you this. The Silver Cat Ring will keep you alive if you drop down from the shortcut ladder all the way to the floor. It'll keep you it, it will, it will, you'll survive that with a Silver Cat Ring on. You can survive the fall outside from pretty much every area, including the bridge where the, the Maggot Belly guy spawns. You can survive that fall with the Silver Cat Ring. The only fall that I know for a fact will kill you with the Silver Cat Ring is from the Undead Bone Shard. I, there might be other areas and corners that you can't survive, but that's the only one I know of for sure, for sure. So the Silver Cat Ring is always an excellent choice if you're being chased right there. Um, if you get chased, you can put that Silver Cat Ring on, you can drop down into the Maggot Body, uh, the little Maggot Ditch, it's a little ditch full of maggot guys. There's a there's a huge crystal lizard down there. You can drop down there and um, you know catch back up with the party when you know you're not gonna get just gang fucked. If this host had thrown out a few more attacks, they might have beaten me just there. Fortunately, they were more concerned about the parry. I tried to go for something a little tricky here. I've already tried one parry, it didn't work. I'm going to show them my Estus flask is empty and hope I can parry when they come in to take advantage. But I uh, mistimed it. But it's okay. You guys familiar with uh, Adam Barker? Barker Bombate? This is magic. Moonlight. Barker Bombate. Mwah. <laughs> Somebody find Adam Barker and buy that man a beer and tell him it's from St. Riot. I owe you. <laughs> anyway, that's the first part of the level covered. But now, let us learn of Jay and Sammy, two best friends exploring the innards of the cathedral together. Suddenly, they were invaded by a real big boy. They decided they would wait, unknowing that the big boy was obscure to them. They were hiding down a narrow hallway across a great expanse of giant shit and human innards. Suddenly, Jay could hear the taut bow as an arrow was released and fired directly into his hip. He scrambled and tried to hide, but like JFK on a Texas Tuesday afternoon, he left his head exposed. Now, Jay and Sammy thought, now the arrow had knocked loose some sense. They would be hiding behind the pillar. If we hide behind the pillar, they thought, he can't get us from across this vast expanse of giant sludge and human innards and giant shit. And whatever else is in here. But were they right? Are they ever? So the big boy, unbeknownst to Jay and Sammy, crossed the vast expanse, still obscured by his obscuring ring. And he went down to the narrow hallway, directly across from Jay and Sammy, and he let loose one more big boy arrow. I'm a real big boy! This time, Sammy was not having any of his shit, and he ran directly into the big boy's big, hulking, great sword. It was on fire. A flaming big boy great sword. And he was ready to shove it up the no-no square. Because this is church. And big boys shove big nasty things up the no-no square when you're in church. If you don't ask me, ask any comedian from New York who used to be Catholic. Sammy was saved by Miyazaki's hitbox porn. He was led down the narrow hallway into the poison pit 
over and over and over again. He was never poisoned, but that could have come in handy at a later date. It just didn't on this date. And then I chased the host around for five fucking minutes and hit him with a shield because the piece of shit wouldn't swing his sword at me. So I killed him with the shield. But I wouldn't let you guys down like that. No, no, no. No blue balls here. Check out this Ultra Stagger. Three hit true combo against Freed Scythe. That's what y'all want to see. I know it. And now I have saved the best for last. This is my favorite place to invade in the cathedral, the rooftops. I love invading here. I was a little concerned because I look down and I see that most of the enemies are already dead. Uh, and so I'm thinking, man, they've already cleared the rooftops. This isn't going to be a lot of... F uh, I'm not going to be able to show off the rooftops. I was kind of disappointed. Fortunately, I get to the party um, and I see them just sort of hanging around the door and they're kind of, uh, you know, waiting for the invader to show up. So I swap to the obscuring ring. We get the, the great bow ready. Luca Teal comes out. She's the host. She takes a seat. She's just going to sit here and wait for the uh, invader to show up. Well, the invader has showed up, baby girl. He showed up real good. Boom. Headshot, said the meme. I don't know what hit me there. I have no idea. Might have been the gold. He might have saw me and, like, snuck around. Anyway, now the chase is on. As... As the 80s pop song would have us believe, the heat is on, the heat is on. Give the blue a couple love taps, let him know I'm still here. I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy in this story. Right up to the top here, uh, some of these thralls are still alive, which I didn't realize. Um, but that's, a, you know, it's nice. Just a nice added little bonus. They'll slow him down just a little bit. I stopped sprinting as I run up this uh, banister here so I can switch to the silver cat ring. Cost me a running R1, totally worth it. I see the blue wants to go for another running R1, so he can get backstabbed about it. So this is what's so great about this place right here. If you've got the Silver Cat Ring and or the Obscuring Ring, this is fucking Juke City. Uh, which is exactly what you're about to see here. Here they come. There I go. Uh-oh, don't stop, bitch, move. And now, back to the rooftops. Now, I have no idea where the rest of the party's at. None at all. I have no clue. Uh, it looks like the host or or someone wearing the untrue dark ring is like right behind me. Uh, that gold phantom's behind me. The blue is behind me. So I head up over here. This this is a not a, it's a kind of tricky jump. It's like fucking four out of ten. It's not hard, but only one guy followed me up here. Uh, and again, same thing as last episode where we got the guy on the rooftop. Where do you go? There's nowhere to go. I'm just gonna straight sword fucking spam you to death, and now you're dead. Still got the silver cat ring, and at this point, I start getting a little confused, and I'm trying to decide, which way did they go, George? Which way did they go? After some heavy soul-searching and the realization that I've shown off enough about the rooftops to really get my point across, I decide we're going to go ahead and check inside the actual cathedral, and sure enough, the enemies are dead. They've made their way through here. Uh, now, the deacons are dead. That's an obvious clue as to where they've gone. Here's how you check and make sure they're not running all the way across. Which way is the giant looking? He's looking this way. Those banisters right there have not been broken. They haven't gone that way. Does the elevator work? If so, they've used it. So, that means they're down there. They're probably sitting right down there expecting me to have, you know, rode the elevator down. Ridden the elevator down? I have not done that. I am, however, going to equip this Black Knight sword, Silver Cat Ring, and get plunged on, baby boys. Goldilocks bites the dust. Other password summon Phantom also bites the dust. Host goes for a plunge attack. <laughs> He's fallen. And he can't be alive anymore because he's physically injured himself to the point of death. Memes. I haven't had this much fun in a church since that time I finger banged my cousin Lulabelle at my dad's fifth wedding to my cousin, who's also my mother and now my stepmother. Thank you guys very much for joining me. Next time we'll be invading from wherever the fuck you guys say. Let me know in the comments and I'll go there and I'll kill people for you.